Okay, we have the DJI N3 here. Let's take a look here. We'll see what we got. Shit. Well, I guess that's the intro. Then. Okay, let's try this again. Let's open it up here. It's very nice. DJI always seems to package their stuff pretty good. Just go ahead and pull it all out. Let's see what we have in the goodie box. There's the LED. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe something for a gimbal, possibly. Not really sure. I'll have to read on it. USB. It's like another can port. Yeah. Some sort of can port. And so, oh, that's uh, that looks like the old style plug. It's mm, interesting. LED. There's the GPS mounting. And the pole there. screws for that. And some mounting 3M. Okay, let's see what we have here. Servo leads. Allen wrench. Looks like some zip ties. DJI ESC hookup. It's kind of neat. And PMU. See, that looks like it has a CAN 1 on one side. That's for a DJI battery, their hookup. Flight controller. And there we have the GPS. It's like there's another can on there. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, ports on the flight controller. Okay, up here we have a the S bus. It's just right here on the on the left side. Then we have F1 through F8. Second pins over is F1 through F4. That's your PWM output. Then F5 through F8 is uh, IO. And CAN bus 2 is on the top left. That's reserved right now. Maybe possibly for a sense and avoidance maybe in the future. And API, that's on the top right. 
Uh, that's for uh, SDK. Okay, now the ESC and power input side. We have our LED port. Our PMU or voltage port. RF port. This is for communication with the Lightbridge 2 air system. This very last port here on the very end, that is for the IESC. This is for the uh, the smart ESC communication board for uh, DJI ESCs. And uh, motor 1 through motor 8 is where you would hook up your regular ESCs. Around on the side here, this is for an A3 upgrade kit. Hookup looks pretty easy. We have the LED here. It's keyed, only goes in one way. Actually, they're all keyed. Then the PMU. Then the GPS. And that is basically it. DJI Assistant 2. Let's plug it in here. Okay. In 3. Dashboard. All the main information. And we have the IMU and compass. Battery and flight restriction. And remote control. There's the mode. ESC settings and landing gear, airframe type, sensitivity gains, fell safe settings, and flight restrictions, battery, there's a the current voltage, and propulsion configuration. Alright, now basic settings. We have our airframe. There's all the different ones there. Mounting for the flight controller here and for the GPS. They have changed that to uh, millimeters there. It looks like you can change the installation direction of the flight controller. Okay, remote controller. There's your receiver type. Light bridge or S bus. There's your modes. And here's where you enable your multiple flight modes. Down here on the bottom right, channel. Here's for your mapping or channel mapping. Advanced, direct, and basic knob channel. Now you just click on the uh, channel here and click on whichever channel you want to map to that and then just click confirm down here at the bottom right and then we have control exp here's where you can set up your rates for your uh, radio up here at the top left is your mode flip the switch into sport mode and set that up and then we have calibration here. This is where you do all your calibrating for your radio. Then ESC setting. Choose ESC type. Either DJI or other. Motor idle. You can speed it up or slow it down. 
motor test speed you can speed it up or slow it down motor direction test ESC calibration you'll have to use two batteries in order to calibrate your ESC's uh, one for the controller and one for the ESC's okay flight settings and propulsion uh, basic gains right here and we have power bandwidth this will depend on whatever motor size and propellers you're using and your gain attitude gain brake and attitude fell safe something a little different about the, uh, the way they've got this you can see how it switches between standby and start but in the basic settings in remote controller as I, as I switch the switch here you can see it's not moving into fail safe so whenever you set that up just look for that check your uh, mapping through that and fail safe action hover landing and return home and here's where you would set your altitude and heading during return to home you can have it point towards you or point away from you whenever it's returning home and the battery non DJI or DJI battery cells 3S to 12S low battery warning LED indication only return to home or landing critical low battery indication or landing flight restriction you can set your height here uh, if you go past 120 you will get this disclaimer here uh, flight distance you can turn that on or off you know, the maximum is 8,000 meters IOC off home lock and uh, course lock okay in the tools you can click on the flight controller here and it gives you the status of the flight controller and this is also where you would calibrate the uh, IMU and the GPS that's where you'd see the status for that this is also where you would calibrate that function channel this is for the flight controller I have my landing gear plugged in here but F1 and F2 those can't be changed but the rest can be backup you can back up your settings and shutter is for camera DJI device is for your landing gear you can turn that on or off it will give you a status up or down intelligent landing gear on or off disable landing gear auto lock what that will do is if your aircraft is sitting on the ground or sitting on your bench if you accidentally hit that switch your landing gear won't try to go up if you're doing testing setup just leave these to on and uh, you can test to make sure you have it mapped gimbal I'm not using that right now it's LB2 and SBUS and the simulator it's pretty plain it's okay SDK I haven't fooled with that I'm not I don't really know anything about that firmware update you will have to update out of the box I did and flight data it has a viewer here and it has an onboard SD card it allows you to download all of the flight data from the flight controller so you can look at all that and I haven't looked at that yet but uh, I will in the future well that's about all I have right now guys hope you enjoyed the video I'll get a flight video up here soon thanks for watching